As any weeb who has ever lived in a society knows, we are constantly under attack by reality. And I'm sure that just about everyone in the audience has at some point wished in their life that they were able to simply become anime and not have to deal with all the BS of the real world. It's happened to me before, and it's actually pretty common. Oftentimes, we'll then have dreams of living out the lives that we see the anime protagonists on the screen living out, the kind of lives that we could never live in the real world. A life where everything's good, or a life where we are the overpowered MC. Maybe a life where we are the harem MC. But unfortunately, in reality, none of us are the MC of our lives. Which then leads me to the question of, if we could become anime, what would actually happen if we did? While it's easy to assume that once you became anime, your life would then become better, that may not actually be the reality. Simply being anime is not necessarily an indication that you're going to be the main character of the anime, or that the story of whatever anime you're in is going to be beneficial to you. However, what most people fail to realize is that becoming anime would be extremely taxing on your physical body. We live in a three-dimensional world, and in fact, it can even be difficult to understand what it would be like to live in a two-dimensional one. According to the law of conservation of mass, if we were to become two-dimensional, it's not as though the entire mass of our 3D body would simply disappear in order to fit into our new form. Instead, it would just be brutally squished into an infinitely small and thin form factor. To put it in simpler terms, you would die instantaneously, in fact, if you actually became anime. So, it is with a heavy heart today that I must announce to all of us weebs that even if we could become anime, we unfortunately could not stay as anime.